today I give you the feeding video. <laughs> Anyhow, this is a Bonita Terrafosa Stirmi and today, as presented to you, we will have a feeding video. And of course every feeding attempt will be recorded in super slow motion so in case we get a nice takedown we can slow it down and see exactly what happened but before we start with this video uh, once again i have a sponsor for today's video but trust me it is something that you will find really interesting i don't just randomly take sponsors a company called Copertist or Coopertist reached out to me and they said that they have some products that would be interesting to my audience and boy they were right they have some super nice products that i'm pretty sure that majority of you will like now look at this this is a chameleon but the best thing is check it out it is practical because <laughs> this is actually a meter and from now on i will always have one in my bag because it is super useful and the design is so neat because the meter is actually chameleon's tongue so unlike felix this chameleon got a working tongue so they sent me this and also I chose some other stuff that, that I like, but they have plenty of different uh, animal related products. Look at this, a grasshopper pin or however this, this is called because uh, need two hands. Uh, there we go. You see this, this thing, I don't really know what is the English word for this, but it looks so neat and the products are actually so neatly designed and so detailed. Now, Check this out, this is sweet, you see a scorpion uh, keychain, oh, but it is so detailed and looking so nice. And check out the last thing that I chose for them to send me. <sighs> Look at this, this is a hermit crab bottle opener and it is so heavy, it is like, I'm not really sure what is the material that they use, but it is super heavy and the crab is so detailed, you see. So nice looking. <laughs> Anyhow, if you are interested in any of these products or some other products that they have, they have a bunch of animal themed stuff similar to all of these. If you are interested, there will be a link in the description and also there is a code I will write it down for I believe 15% off. And just so you know, I receive a percentage from every sale that comes from that link. So. In case you want to buy something, you are in the same time supporting the Dark Den. Link in the description. Now, from where do we start? I mean, we already fed one tarantula, but let me choose one. Do I want to risk with some arboreal ones? Because you know, arboreal tarantulas are generally harder to feed on camera. I'm feeling a lot... Oh, wait a minute. I wanted to take this poke in the Pezzateria regalis, but then I noticed that she actually molted. <laughs> Nice. I'm not really sure when she did that, but just in case she is freshly molted, I'm not going to feed her because you know when tarantulas are freshly molted, their fangs are uh, soft and they generally won't accept to prey. This is actually an interesting situation because my adult Pezzalteria regalis is outside and she is generally never outside, so I'm just assuming that she is in a pre-molt and maybe she is looking to mold right here in front of us but also at the same time we can attempt a feeding i mean we can attempt to feed her should we do that should we take the risk yeah we will be the risk takers that is the only way to find out if she is in the pre-mold currently Ooh, i'm gonna take that as a no but look how beautiful she is beautiful so there is a chance that i catch her molting, mm, that would be sweet thing, because recently I recorded Brachypelma Emilia, how she molted, so I could actually make a video out of those two molds, if only she does it, but look how huge she already is, she's so huge, and if she molts she would be even bigger, okay girl, mind your fingers, come on, There we go. I need to keep an eye out on her, but let's choose one tarantula out of this bunch. Need lights first. Mm, it would be nice to record this pseudo hopo species blue, but if I touch her enclosure, she will most likely bolt in her hide. So maybe we can feed her right here. Ah, yeah, you see, I just lightly touched the, the door and she is out of there. 
too bad. Ooh, but the Tiriopago Pusminax, she molted like two weeks ago. So I'm sure that she's super hungry now. You see? <sighs> Seriously, tarantulas, what the hell? I need some vibrant tarantula to save the day and maybe this Caribena Versicolor could do the trick. I'll try to bring her enclosure. Fingers crossed she won't bolt. So far so good, but she webbed the door, so if I open the door... Ah, uh, let's see. Don't escape, please. Okay, see the webbing? Beautiful sound, right? Mwah. But this is a good thing. I can place the roach right there and maybe we will get some sweet action. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Oh I didn't really need a slow motion for that because the feeding was so slow but uh, there was a lot of struggle and I record none of it so oh the roach is trying to escape you see through the web will he make it <laughs> seems like this one is a tough cookie to break for the tarantula can I just remove a bit of webbing so we can see it better yeah <laughs> Ah, well, even though it seems like the roach could escape, Tarantula got the grip, the good enough grip on the roach, so that just won't happen. But okay, okay, I'm gonna grab next Tarantula, and that will be a mature male from last Rehouse video. Also, I would like to say big thanks to all of you that wrote a lot of comments in regard to how to improve the background how to paint it better and how to make it just look a bit better. There were a lot of comments. So here is the pretty guy. You see his abdomen it is not really big. So I'm pretty sure that he will be down to grab one roach. Are you? Yeah, he is. And I will be dropping the roach right here. Mm, it seems like it was a bit too far away. Or, or maybe not. <laughs> that was nice even though he slowly creeped to the roach it is funny how even though roach was standing completely still he figured out where he is because i guess he felt where the roach has fallen and he picked up that vibration but it is still not a common thing to see a tarantula grabbing the roach before it actually moved. I mean, it is kind of rare to see a tarantula moving to a stationary roach. So this was nice. And actually now you can have a good look at his bulbs. You see the tips of his pedipalps. Those are his bulbs. But unfortunately I don't have a female of this species, so he cannot use those bulbs. Uh, yeah. Next tarantula. It will be this Fornicoptus species Dominican purple. And finally, after less molt, I can finally see why it is called purple. You see, her legs are kinda purplish. You see, that nice purple tint on top. It actually makes sense to name it purple. <laughs> but before it hides, let me grab a roach. Here is a meal for you. If I touch her leg. Oh! Underneath, underneath, there's a roach underneath, yes, there we go. She did a slight mistake, but she figured it out in the end. Yeah, she went for the tweezers first, although I don't think that she actually bit it. I mean, I don't think that she bit them, but I can actually check it out in the slow motion. But first, I want to see this nice fang action. Yeah, that is worth checking out, even though she stopped doing the... the oh, there she goes. Never mind. Okay, let me check the, the slow motion clip. Oh yeah, she just opened the fangs, but thankfully she stopped. 
And it is weird, she actually didn't figure out that the roach was falling across her while jumping on the wizards. Okay, okay, this was a good one. And at the same time, it is a really pretty tarantula. She's getting prettier and prettier. And I also have another one. This is a female, while over here I have one unsexed one. It is a bit smaller. This tarantula is not so attractive, but I want to show her because the situation is a bit feeling considering this shirt. Look at this mold. It is terrible. And the tarantula is sitting on it for some reason. I mean, I understand why she is standing over there. It is because I am watering that plant and over there you can find more humidity. So therefore she is sitting on area that provides her with moisture. But at the same time, you know who likes moisture? Mold. Terrible mold. Okay, let's drop the roach and then we can inspect it better once the tarantula moves away. I hope for a good reaction from her. Ooh. <laughs> that was a really good reaction reaction oh yeah i think that she went out of the shot so i'm not sure if we could see the takedown but it was really fast super fast and of course that she's once again over there, I will need to push her just a little bit, or maybe she'll first do a happy dance for us. Hmm. Ah, you can actually see the mold. You see how terrible. Also under the tarantula currently. Yeah, a lot of mold and it is not like I can just stop watering that corner and let the, the mold dry out because in the same time the plant will dry out and I don't want to do that. Ah, I don't know. We'll need to figure something out. But let's enjoy the tarantula now, shall we? Look at all those. Mm, how are they called? The hairs. She's so hairy, you see? It's actually crazy how long the, the hairs on her abdomen are. You see? And it is just a simple Lacedora parahibani. You see, even the, the most simplest and the cheapest tarantulas look really really sweet but the thing is we are kind of spoiled with all the vibrant colors from some specific tarantula species so these tarantulas kind of go unnoticed but they are still pretty yeah really pretty and they get really big that is also a big plus and she's in a really good mood dancing for us and all that stuff if you're wondering what is that white stuff uh, you see, she destroyed the background and that is just exposed styrofoam. Not cool, bro. Not cool. Okay, let's grab next one. Let's jump to Africa with this sweet looking Ceratogirus darlingi. You see? She didn't web really that much, but I think that she got enough web. So if we drop the roach over there, she should run straight for it. Yeah, that's the idea. <laughs> I always prefer to drop the roach a bit further away. That way, potentially, we can get more action. Mm, dropping like here. Oof. I think that was a bit too far away. <laughs> Where did the roach go? I'll drop another one and then get that one out. So let's go a little bit closer. Ooh. What? No, 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 no. Ah, damn. I accidentally turned off the light while while moving it to get a better shot. Ah, no, 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 no. So I think that the slow motion shot is kind of ruined. Uh, let's see if we can get that roach first. I think he went somewhere here. There he is, got him. Always a good idea to remove the uneaten roaches and not let them roam around the enclosure. Even though realistically sometimes you cannot really do that, but always try, try to do it. So this is an African tarantula, as I said, Ceratogirus darlingi, and you know the best thing in regards to this species is this horn on top. Such a cool feature. I always giggle on that, <laughs> I don't know why. I know why, because it's so unnecessary at least. It seems so unnecessary. I don't see what is the purpose of that horn. Can you please explain why you have the horn? We need to know, we want to know. She's keeping that info for herself. Okay, should we try with another African tarantula? I think that 
we haven't fed Harpactera, the other one, uh, in quite a long time. So I will grab her. Harpactera Marxia, that's the one. But she's hiding, so I will need to lure her first by poking with some dry leaf. You see, that is my poking stick for luring tarantulas or fishing tarantulas. Knock, knock. Is there someone home? Hmm, no one. You see, the tarantula is in her tunnel. That black thing over there, that is the tarantula. It looks like I won't be able to do this now. I can try to poke on this side. Whoa. You see her moving? Those are the legs. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe there is still a chance. So if I drop the roach over there, I think that she will figure it out. Time to find out. <laughs> She's gone. She did that so slowly. There was like zero action. And she went straight back in her hide. So I will try to poke her out so we can at least see her. Hello. Ooh. Ooh, where is your roach? You dropped it? You really don't want to cooperate, huh? Okay, whatever. Enjoy your meal and hopefully next tarantula will show us something a bit better, I don't know. Someone like this recently molted Brachypelma albiceps. I just realized that a lot of tarantulas recently molted and that is understandable because summer is coming, it is getting more and more warmer hotter so inside it is more warmer so therefore tarantulas are kind of growing faster and molting more often so look at this pretty one she looks so lovely mm. therefore we will give her one lovely roach you are hungry for sure ah, and i cannot believe but he is gone it is insane how quickly these roaches can bury <sighs> i'll drop another one don't you dare to do the same thing B too soon huh <laughs> where is the roach don't bury i thought that two weeks passed and she should be down for feeding but it looks like well, maybe some other tarantula molted in two weeks and i confused her with this one as i said a lot of tarantulas molted so it could be the case okay i'm gonna grab another one another freshly molted brachypelma and that one should be ready for feeding this brachypelma bounganterni and she's arguably even prettier than hmm, what do you think is she prettier yeah definitely she could be because of all the black coloration on her legs i'm loving it i'm loving it a roach incoming please don't screw it up Come on, dig it, dig it, dig it. Yes. Thankfully, she didn't disappoint. Uh, Roach almost went inside of her hide, but she was quicker and she actually pulled him out. Nice. Thank you for reacting on time. I couldn't handle another failed attempt. Yeah, for sure. Oh, and we have a, maybe, maybe a happy dance? The booty is shaking, but I don't see spinner at spinning the web. <laughs> Whatever, she's turning. <laughs> but she's such a lovely tarantula. Rate it. 10 out of 10, right? Oh, yeah. One out of many 10 out of 10 tarantulas. <laughs> at least if you ask me. Uh, okay okay i think that we can grab another one and finish this video hmm to be honest i'm not sure how many we fed will i have enough for one week yeah i will for sure have enough oh i see hilobrae species vietnam blue outside and she's also recently uh, freshly molted so i won't be touching her enclosure because same problem she will just bolt inside of her hide so i'm gonna try to feed her from from the shelf look at her Look at her. She's getting... I didn't even touch the enclosure. I was just hovering over the enclosure. <laughs> uh, should we feed the Brachypelma Behmei? She is also freshly molted. <laughs> Everyone here is freshly molted, even though... Yeah, I know the sound. 
Even though she is freshly molted, but her abdomen is still huge. <laughs> so huge. So therefore I will give her one small roach. That should be just a snack for her. Ooh. There we go. Quick and easy. By the way, you might find this tarantula be to be pretty similar with last one with Brachypelum baumgantherni, right? I think that the carapace is the main difference, but the rest of the tarantula it is almost identical. So yeah, 10 out of 10 tarantula. Uh, thank you for this takedown. And let's feed just one more. And I need to choose in between this Acanthoscuria musculosa and this Formicoptus arti atrihomatus. <laughs> I had to read it because I don't remember all those names. Uh, I will go for that one. The artichromatus, right? That one is slightly prettier, but check out what she's doing. She's destroying her plants with her fangs actually. I spotted her climbing and ripping on the plants a couple of times. So that is how I know that she is doing that intentionally, right? <laughs> okay, let's remove this. The only issue that I that I see because all those leaves, the camera will maybe struggle with slow motion. I cannot get enough light inside. Yeah, that could be the problem. That could be the problem, but let's check it out. No! Roach, Roach, no! <sighs> Got him! Second attempt, a bit closer. Uh, you are too slow, buddy. What the hell? No, 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 no! <laughs> She's now attacking the leaf, you see? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Where is the Roach, Roach, Roach? <laughs> okay, one last time, but I'm not recording in slow motion. Underneath you. Let go the tweezers. Thank you. And now the roach needs to start to move so we can get that final takedown. Come on, please. <laughs> the way she slowly moved her leg was so unnecessary dramatic. <laughs> uh, please get that roach. I need to finish this video. I'm running out of battery. She really doesn't care. I'll drop another roach and I will try to get... Yeah, you know the drill. Come on, do this now. Seriously? Why do you go for tweezers while there is a roach underneath? See how hard it is to grab that roach. Come on, grab it! Oh, finally! Okay, you can let go my tweezers. You have the roach in your fangs, you don't need tweezers in the same time. Come! Oh, oh, finally! Go inside, run! <laughs> and where did the other roach go? I, I could swear that he was underneath the tarantula. Oh, I can see him. You see? He's right there. Bastard! Oh, oh she actually grabbed it. <laughs> now she got both roaches. Okay, okay, okay. This is starting to be better and better. <laughs> Even though you cannot really see what is going on, I spotted her grabbing the other roach. But she's struggling a bit. I believe in you. You can do that. Uh, okay, let's finish this video. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check the website linked in the description for their awesome products. Maybe you'll find something even better from the stuff that I showed you. And don't forget to use the code for, I believe, 15% off. But I will write down how much exactly. Uh, so, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel even more, there's a Patreon page. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Apple on Monday, sometimes on Friday. So, see you again soon. Bye! -bye.